appeal from uh, achieving competitive advantage, uh, the need for speed. Uh, the idea is uh, you always need to be fast to the markets. Do you guys remember, uh, uh, what is it, Apple and Samsung when they do competition? Whoever comes first with a new product, they become better company, right? Whoever is late with their new product, they're, you know, old. And it's the idea of a time-based competition. It means you need to deliver products and services faster than your competition. Which one is better? You're fast to the market or you come with out of budget? It's better to go fast to market. Which one is better? You go on budget or you go out of budget? You go on budget is better than out of budget. But which one is better? Out of budget or out of time? Out of budget is better. Out of time, you're late, you lose. It's very big loss. Do you guys remember if you reach 18, you need to have graduated from high school. What happens if you're 18 and you didn't finish high school? It become very expensive, do you see? What happens if you, you know, you know things on their, uh, you know, in the, you know, good timing is, is good. Now, once you lose time, it becomes very expensive. Uh, we talked about this management core where it's top to bottom and technical core. You know, this is when you're organic. We talked about this last class. Any questions on this? Here it talks about type of innovation. If you are a mechanistic company, innovation is on the top or bottom? Top. top. If you're an organic company, innovation top or bottom? Bottom. bottom? bottom. So if you're an advertising company, you want innovation from the top manager or from the employees? employees? Employees. You know, if you are a company where you cut chicken, cut wings, cut, then you need to have a manager that is more innovative. Here we're talking about uh, culture change. We said it's important to reorganize, re-engineer. You need to have diversity. If you have good diversity, you have a lot of people in your company and the more diverse ideas you have, the more creative, innovative your company can be, right? If all of the people, they all have the same look, the same mind, the same mentality, then it's more difficult to find areas for innovation and change and uh, forces to, dr to drive this culture change. And we've got the companies of learning organizations. A learning organization is any group of people, they always try to learn and become better, Do you see? We talked about uh, development of culture, large group intervention, team building, and interdepartmental activities. So how can you do a culture change? This is what you do. You need to have large group interventions. So in, inside your home, you wanna change your culture, you need to have a lot of people to go and agree on a new culture. Or you need to build teams. So team, 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 those teams can change. And also you need to have an interdependent uh, activities. So interdepartment, so if I have you know, one school of business, school of pharmacy, and I want to do a culture change, then I need to have teams from both departments so we can have stronger uh, culture and we can do change if we want, if we need change. We talked about this, right? This is passage of time. This is le level of support for change. So at the beginning, we need to initial contact and then awareness. After that, we want to understand in order to accept and then take a decision to implement and then actually do an installation where you actually do. So let's say, for example, if you're going to uh, make your project in this uh, course, you need to have an initial contact, get people to aware, and then you understand what you need to do, make the decisions to implementation, and then you actually go and do it, and then you make it uh, institutionalized. Let's say, for example, CAC Bank, they want to change the environment from a bank that is traditional to completely wireless mobile bank. They want to be very virtual. They, don't, they want their employees to work from home and they want their customers to bank from home. So they need to do first, initiate contact, get people to be aware of this new project. People understand what it means to be completely virtual, this, decide to implement these changes, and then you install virtual branches, virtual brands, virtual uh, employees, virtual, and then you make this as part of your institution. Same idea, if we are here in LIU, wanna do a virtual learning, uh, initial uh, contact, let people know, awareness, people understand, understand it, decide to do it, and install it, make it in part of the institution. These are barriers to change. Do people love change or hate change? Uh, what do you guys think, uh, what about if we change our classroom? Instead of you guys, you know, sit here and uh, 
maybe we do a completely different class or maybe we do it completely online or maybe let's do it inside some other company or maybe let's do it where we take students and uh, uh, we take them into a virtual organization how many people think this is good few people how many people think uh, this is bad what is this this seems to be absolutely crazy okay so what is this everyone else is not paying attention or you don't want to participate or you have no objectives or are scared now this is the answer the answer is some people will be say no that will be a lot of money right that will going to be expensive if we need to do our classes and transportation some people will say maybe what is the benefits people don't understand the benefits number three we have a lack of coordination and cooperation you everyone already know the class you go to the class you know this time you leave it's easy but now we want to do a new virtual where how coordination who is responsible if I have a question where do I go do you see that's why people hate change and there's uncertainty avoidance you want to avoid uncertainty you know I take you to a virtual organization what's this I don't know if I don't know then I hate people hate what they don't know and there's a fear of loss people are scared what if I get lost in this new virtual class what's gonna happen to me that's these are the reasons people hate change are you guys okay let's see we're going to make this class completely virtual next week okay how many people have a problem with this how many people love it wow how many people no comments Well, some of you, you don't want to do that because uh, how many people are scared you will not understand? See, that's a fear of loss. How many people don't like it because you don't know what's going to happen? What do I have to do? Do I have to have an internet? Do I have to log? Do I have quizzes online? Will that mean I have to read the book on my own and then I will be quizzed online? Will that, do you see, how many people are there? You know, they're just scared of, you know, there's uncertainty avoidance. How many people think, okay, if, I, if this happened, then what do I do? do I, what if I have a question? What if? Who do I need to contact? You know, there's a coordination. What's going to happen to me? You see, what do I tell my family if they ask me? You know, what happens if I fail and I don't get there? Do you see? And then failure to perceive the benefits. How many people uh, see there is a benefit if we do it virtual? No one see a benefit, you see. So now for me, if I want to convince you, I need to tell you that there's a benefit if you do it virtual. Uh, you don't have to come to the classes. You stay home. You can do it online. Uh, you can just read. There will be online quizzes. You can log in and do the quizzes. How many people uh, think this will may work? It may work. Okay. So th those people are more willing, you see. And uh, how many people think this will be expensive? We don't have electricity, no water. No uh, food, no internet from home, no, no. So those people, they start to find some other reasons to say it's expensive. So leadership for change, it says 80% of the success innovative uh, companies have top leaders who reinforce the value and the importance of innovation. So we always have to reinforce innovation. You guys understand innovation? If you understand innovation, give me a raise your hand. What does innovation mean? Go ahead. How creative other uh, new ideas what exchange you know get something new so techniques to for change now let's say if we're going to need to make this change okay in order for this change to be successful we need to establish sense of urgency okay we need to do it now okay if you establish urgency that help people change okay Number two, we need to establish a coalition. So we need to get a group who are with us and they help the change. Because once we have a group, those people start, other people follow. Do you see? Number three, we need to create a vision and a strategy for change. So this is where we're going. We're going to use our LMS. We're going to use this. We're going to have those people to, for support. We're going to make sure we check every week all the people have moved into the new system and so on number four idea find an idea that will fit the need so we need to find an idea that will fit the need why we need to do this change because of 
the situation. So from that, we start with that need. Number five, develop a plan to co overcome resistance. A lot of people will resist. How many people did not like this online learning or virtual learning? See, so here you need to start to develop uh, plans to overcome. What are your concerns? What's the problem with this uh, virtual learning? It's what? It's hard. So here, how can we make it easy? Okay. So in order to make it easy, we will have to do this. You know, let's do the quizzes. Let's do those. You know, two hours that may help. Uh, people, uh, you know, get accustomed to it. Uh, let's do, you see, you start to make some other plans that's going to help uh, making this, uh, overcoming those resistance. And number uh, six, it says, create a change team. We need to have a team that is responsible for change. Once we have a group of people who are leading this change, then we can go uh, with the change. And we need to foster idea champions. Do you guys know what's a champion? We need to have some success stories. We need to have some people who have been able to use it successful and we promote those stories. This way people feel, oh, okay, if other people can do it, I can do it. And this is the end of this chapter. It talks about design essentials. Uh, it says uh, change and not, stab not stability is the challenge for uh, managers. So which one is more difficult? To stay as you are or overcome change. change there are four types of change uh, we looked into them change in terms of technology and new ideas new services organic structures foster more innovations so the more organic you are more space for innovation that can happen that's why a lot of companies they want to be to have some sort of an, a place or area for uh, innovation so they can put new ideas and top-down approach is best for change and strategy. Top uh, managers must foster culture change. So you always want to be, have your culture ready for change. And the implementation for change sometimes can be difficult. So uh, why is it difficult? We looked into why people resist change and what to do to overcome uh, change. Uh, we went through the ideas to overcome change. Any questions on this chapter? <laughs>